I am, pardon me, pulling out of this parking lot, but I am working on a project. I have been crocheting for, ooh, there's little kiddos, for about seven years. Um, and I've recently come across, here's what spurred it all. I was going to the grocery store, I grocery shop for our house, and uh, so the other day I came back and we have like this cupboard where we put all of our plastic bags after we've used them, right? So I was like putting them in there and this cupboard is getting full, like there's no more room for all these plastic bags. And I was like, there's gotta be a better way, right? So I Googled and I was like, oh, I'm gonna pull over. Um, I Googled and I was like, hey Google, <laughs> I didn't say that. But I was uh, looking up like how you can um, like fold them up. Cause you know, people fold them and put them in a little pouch so they can reuse them, right? And I was like, cool, cool. Let me just Google how to do that. Um, because I feel like a disgusting human being when, uh, when I've used all these bags, right? And they're just going to waste because you can't recycle them. And so, uh, so I Googled it and then I came across like someone who had made, um, like a market bag, like a little tote out of plastic. They call it Plarn. And I was like, rad, that's cool, very cool. And so I clicked on it because <laughs> I crochet and I was like, how hard can that be? I'd love to make some plarn out of fucking bags that I'm not using, right? And so, uh, so I go in there and I go to like um, similar images and I find like a mat, like there's rolled up mats that are on Google and I'm like what the fuck is this so I click on it and it's like make Plarn sleeping mats and it was like a homeless um, gift that people were making at churches and things like that a homeless gift a gift for the homeless people the homeless gift for homeless people oh my god what is PC it's fine um, and uh, for the homeless community I don't know they're a community Alright, I'm I digress. But I found it and it was all this information about plastic bags and that by making these mats, they're giving them out to uh, the homeless community and saying like, hey, these are insulating, they're waterproof, they don't attract like ticks and lice and bugs. They're just they're like better than sleeping on the ground, better than like a yoga mat. Um, cause they also breathe, but they're insulating, like, cause crocheting has like little holes that you can, that you make or whatever. And so I was like, oh my God, this is fucking rad. And so I, uh, Google it some more and like I YouTube did it and I was like, how the fuck do you make this yarn? Like what is involved in this? Like how does one right and so I um ah oh, fuck I missed my exit god damn it and so um I was looking at it and then I watched some videos on how to make the plarn and I was like I can do this this seems really easy so I grabbed a couple bags and I got super fucking excited about it and I was like this is a thing this is a doable thing that I am about to do <laughs> and so um, I've been watching a lot of videos and researching on how to convert my Forester here, which I'm a proud new owner of, um, because I am transitioning and looking to move. And um, so I figured better than like going somewhere and getting a new job and then having to come back and pack up after my lease was done in July. Uh, done after my lease was up, uh, I was like, I'll just get rid of everything I have and then pack it all up in my car and then, um, kind of go from there, you know, uh, so I have all my belongings with me, but I've like, I'm hitting this barrier of like, 
well, yeah, you can sleep in your car and travel cross country, but girl, you know nothing about conversions. You have watched a couple videos, that doesn't mean you can do shit. Like, just all this self-doubt in my head as far as my capabilities of converting it and then it not being good enough as well. Um, Cause there's that fear that like, yeah, I can do this probably, but it's not gonna work. It's gonna be stupid. It's gonna fall apart. Like what if I make like a turn and it just crumbles and then I'm left on the road with this mess of a car and no tools to fix it and just all this other shit in my head as far as like you're gonna you can do it you shouldn't do it but you're gonna do it wrong and then I was just like fuck that noise I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a mat for my car that's insulating that's waterproof like I'm gonna do it right so uh for the last couple days I've been putting all my energy into making plarn and crocheting a lovely piece <laughs> it's more like a wide strip of a uh, of plarn of crocheted like a mat so that has been my uh, project for the last couple weeks and so I wanted to create this video so I could demonstrate how easy it is to come across um there's another four star in front of me I really want to wave hi <laughs> um <laughs> how it is to come across these resources because even if it is a dumb project and people are like yeah that's stupid like it's better to use these thousands of plastic bags in a mat just because why fucking not than to have them in a landfill polluting the oceans killing animals or like hanging in trees and like destroying our natural resources of beauty right like why not I have a skill and there's too much of one thing in the world so combine those two and you got yourself a fucking insulated mat right so I'm really excited about it but I came to the end of my stash I have completely cut and crocheted all of the bags that we have in our house so I was talking to my friend yesterday and I was like this is the project that I'm doing however I need more bags right like I have come to the end of my baggage I don't know where to find more. She was like, well, why don't you just like go knock on neighbors' doors? And I'm like, I don't, <laughs> I don't really like my neighbors. We don't talk to them much. We lived there for about two years and I don't even know who they are. Like I've never seen them up close. I've never met them. We're just not a very neighborly uh, neighborhood. <laughs> so that's a no. But I was like, maybe I could post flyers, put it on the mailbox or something. I feel like you have to have permission to do that. I don't know. Um, if it were Lost Puppy, they'd be like, yeah, sure. But like, <laughs> in search of bags, <laughs> please, <laughs> please give me bags. <laughs> They're gonna be like, what? <laughs> no, don't do that, you can't do that. And I'll be like, well, shit, okay. Uh, I'm sorry for trying to save the planet, right? So uh, she was like, well, why don't you? Um, oh, and then I said, I'm just gonna go hold out in front of H-E-B, which is our grocery store chain here in Texas. And I was like, I'll just go and like stand in front of the store and just ask people. Like we're really friendly here sometimes in Texas if you look a certain way, sure. Um, <laughs> just terrible. Uh, and I just like ask all these cute little old ladies, like, hey, um, I'm doing a project crochet project they'd be like girl don't like say no more I got you I'm bringing my bags I'd be like I haven't even finished um but uh so I'm super excited about it 
Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I got distracted by cars. Um, probably shouldn't be doing this while I'm driving, but it's fun. So, she was like, well, wait a minute. You know how Walmart has those um, bag drop areas? Like, you can just go drop your bags and uh, and people can use them. Or it like has a little thing on it that says, take as much as you need or whatever. And I was like, sweet. Uh, she goes, yeah, just go in there and ask if you can take them. And I was like, fuck yeah, I'll do that. So I did it. Mate came out of oh, Walmart with a fuck ton of bags. So that's my story for today.